Let's see the, let's see get the top 10, baby. Top 10. Top 10. Lemonade, Beyonce. Whoa. I'm cool with that. Whoa. Nine, Nevermind Nirvana. I'm okay with that. Back to Black, Amy Winehouse. That's a good album, bro. Top 10? I mean, I don't know about top 10. It's a good album, bro. I mean, it is a good album. Good Kid, Kid Mad City beat, at should seven. It beat Nirvana? Should it beat Nirvana? No way. I don't think so. Good Kid, Mad City? Okay. Are we being for real, though? Are we being for real? Yikes. Songs in the Key of Life at six? I love it. I would have liked it a little bit higher. I think Songs in the Key of Life, in my personal, oh. uh, might be the third oh. best album of all time. Frank Ocean, I'll be... Stevie? I don't... This isn't even... This isn't even Frank Ocean's best album. Like, Blonde yeah. isn't even... It's Channel, Channel Orange. Orange. Channel it's, Orange is... is the, when, you hear, when you hear Frank Ocean, you automatically... Automatically... Like, stop playing with me, yo. Like, why are y'all doing this to me? Y'all know I got blood pressure issues, man. That's what's happening. Apple Music found out, and it's like, that's how we gonna get them out. Yo, the, the miseducation of Lauryn Hill being number one, I... I don't know if I should be happy or angry. I hate it. I love I, it for Lauren. I love it for women. I, I love it for people. I don't want to give Cross, Lauren Hill another excuse to, to be late to a show. CJ Cross said Lauren Hill belongs there. I ain't going to hold you. I think she belongs in the top 10. Maybe. 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 I'm going to be real with you, though. There is no album to me personally, especially if the criteria is albums that represented a cultural moment albums that were complete thoughts albums that had production and lyrics albums that inspired you to want to make music albums that had storytelling musicianship recording and production albums that reached beyond genre categorization especially if we're talking that thriller is one thriller is one and there is nothing that's close to thriller hmm. thriller is number one I gotta allow, me play, let me, allow me to play devil's advocate. Okay, sure. Finish, 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 how, finish your thought. Finish tell your me thought. how. No, tell me how doo wop is better than Billie Jean. All right, all right. Uh, if this is your argument, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's play devil's advocate. You know that Lauren Hill. Out of, out of all these albums, I only know of one album that does that's doing cross cross genre, like in the way that in a way that no other could do. We talking that, about R and B and hip hop. Education, Lauren Hill. We're talking about R and B and hip hop, though. That's like cross genre soul and funk. It's not that out of here. I maybe. I mean, like, I mean, I thought, but I feel like it's too. You can make you, but the thing about it is, you can make distinct, distinct like uh, splits between the, there is an R and this R and B, and then there is hip hop. Like he, she didn't just do a hip hop song, and she was just. Singing on the hook like do like do what was one of those songs, but then we got um we got um lost one and then we got final hour. Um and then like and then you got um everything is every everything is everything is her singing on it, but her but her but she's barring up people. So I just feel like I feel like there is the melodic kind of hip hop or whatever where you can make that you can make that argument. But she made distinct differences like I rap, I sing, I put them together, and now there's two distinct genres. You can make a distinct. You cannot. You cannot argue how she can be on R and B, and you cannot argue how she cannot be on hip hop with this album. Look, homie, um, I'm be real with I, you. I, I, I'll, and and when you talk about musicianship, that that every single track was, if I'm not mistaken, was from her band. Or White Clef's band, or whatever band that she used at that time, and I remember because apparently she was like a, a diva when it came down to the to the bands, and and people had, and people had to switch they had to switch one band member after the other band member just so she could have the right energy on the whole album. That's and it's it's top tier musicians on that on that whole album, bro. Look, listen, listen, listen. I, I'm looking at ten albums here. I see two that, in my opinion, do not belong. Back to Black don't belong here. I'm sorry, Amy Winehouse. Rest, you know, rest in peace. Amy Winehouse fans don't kill me. Back to Black don't belong here. And I'm looking at Blonde. Blonde don't belong here. Right? 
Mm-hmm. I definitely feel like the miseducation of Lauren Hill belongs in the top 10 conversation. Please somebody bring in Pet Sounds by Beach Boys. It should be over here. Please somebody bring in Marvin Gaye. What's going on? It should be up here. I'll swap back to black for that and blonde for that, right? But if I'm redoing this, man, I'm not even putting miseducation of Lauren Hill at two. I'm happy for this list because Beyonce's here. I think she's on the top here. five, to be honest with you. I'm, listen, if that's where you want to put it, I could live with that. I could live with that. It was an impactful album. It is, from our standpoint, it is one of the most influential albums I've ever seen that I got to witness as a person. I was, you know what I I'm was saying? I was here because I'm going to get him tight, but continue. Nah, he's watching, so you can say it to him. Okay, well, um, I think... Definitely not. I think... Okay, so I think Purple Rain and Thriller should be in the fight to, to be number one, and I think Purple Rain, Purple, Purple Rain should be number one. Oof. Hot Oof. take. Hot take. Oof. I think Purple Rain... And, and let me tell you why, because Prince okay. can sing, Prince can, Prince can sing, Prince can play every every single instrument on on the Prince and the Revolution. It's just the it's just that there's a revolution. He just doesn't have a whole bunch of princes, so he had to find people that's but through, almost through the as good criteria. Through the criteria, that don't matter. We're yes, not looking does. at top ten musicianship. Are we talking? It's Purple Rain. Kick yeah, has a but, movie. Yeah, yeah, it's top ten musicianship on and the it's, album. It's storytelling. It's top tier musicianship on the album. Thriller has top tier musicianship. Just because he didn't play those instruments don't mean that there's not top tier musicianship. But I'm saying, but well, what I'm saying is, if we had to, if we had to pick between Purple Rain and Thriller, and they said top tier musicianship, I'm picking Prince before I pick Michael Jackson because Prince can play all of those instruments. No, I'm taking Michael I'm taking Jackson that, cannot. I'm taking that Thriller album. And, that, Reve- that, uh... and, and Prince and Prince didn't just choose some 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 some. Some, some guys oh, CJ. off the street. CJ Cross. Wow. He is he is on this list. He is on this list. Oh, he is man. on this list. I did see him. He's just way up here somewhere. They bugging. They bugging him for that. They bugging uh, for that. That man, that man, that man transcends. That man transcends so much. What do you it should be top 20 at the very at the very most. Top 20. I know I saw him here. Right here, right here. Yeah, Exodus at 46. Oh, Exodus. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. They got Exodus of 46. Um, on the other hand, on the other hand, I will celebrate this because I'm I'm finally happy that these lists are not Eurocentric and it's actually music based. You know? I agree. So I will I will accept it and I will celebrate it. Me personally, though, I do think that Thriller, who was also made by a black man, is number one. I do not think Purple Rain is number three. I feel like you do have to, at some point, put the Beatles or the Beach Boys in there. I think they were uber, uber influential in just how music worked. Uh, I think I think a lot higher should be the Miles Davises and the John Coltrane's of the world. A lot higher. Like, a lot higher. Um, uh, I love Supreme to me is in a, in a, in a kind of blue. I, I don't know what, you, what else you want from those albums. I love you know. I, I love I love I love Supreme, bro. Like I listen to that album. I listen to that album. I'm, I listen to that album when I'm at when I'm working, and I need to like focus. Jazz really helps me focus. I listen <laughs> to that, and I listen to and I listen to it to help me go to sleep. Yeah, um, it's my it's it's literally, and I don't say that as a joke. Like I feel like jazz is soothing as it is um, energetic to help you get through get you through some 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 time at work, uh, but. But anyway, um, yeah, I, Let's... I agree with at least 99% of what you said. I still think Purple Rain should be number one. 